Hey guys, Ivan here, and in a couple of days, British Grand Prix is happening, which is the Olympia qualifier, and it's going to be an interesting show, we're gonna see a bunch of good competitors, and we're gonna see a comeback of Zach King Khan. For those of you who don't know who Zach Khan is, you can check out Nick's Strength and Powers video, where he was talking about bodybuilders who did not live up to their hype. And Zach most certainly is one of those bodybuilders, because he was hyped like crazy. Everybody expected him to become the new champion or something like that, the new Mr. Olympia, because he looked like a beast. He looked like an absolute beast when he was competing against other amateurs. So basically, he was an amateur during this time when there was this whole hype about him, when everybody expected him to bring something insane every next show. Of course, eventually he turned pro, because he wouldn't be able to compete at British Grand Prix if he wasn't, and so he became a pro, and everybody was super excited about seeing him compared to other pros. Everybody was curious how fast will he climb that ladder of success in bodybuilding world. But his pro debut was a disappointment. 2008 and I believe 2009 were the years when he was hyped the most, when everybody was talking about him, but in 2010, or in 2009, I think he had a horrible, horrible knee injury. He destroyed both of his knees during some hack squats. And then about five years later, when his knees recovered somewhat, he had his pro debut. And he looked like this. His legs were horrible. Much, much weaker. And his conditioning was also not good enough. I understand why his legs weren't good, because he had a horrible knee injury. But what's the thing with conditioning? What is the excuse there? He was just lazy to diet, probably. He was just fat, pretty much. For a pro. This is not conditioning that is pro-worthy. But put conditioning aside, his legs were definitely lagging. And uh, I understand that, of course. I mean, he had a horrible injury. Very, very bad injury. It's understandable. Afterwards, he did another show. It was Nordic Pro, and that's not too big of a show, especially for somebody who was hyped that much, where he took 16th place. 16th place. Which is probably like the last place. So he went from being hyped as a potential Mr. Olympia winner to placing 16th at the Nordic Pro. After that, he never competed again. That was his last show. And now he is making a comeback at this British Grand Prix. By the way, if you didn't know, Zach is from Britain. He is British. So he's doing British Grand Prix, making a comeback. He will be facing guys like Nathan Diasha and uh, James Hollingshead. Yep, James is actually doing it. So that's another update for you guys. I'm sure you heard it already, but yeah, James is doing it. Uh, he did not announce it until, I think, an hour after I posted my prediction video. So that's when he announced it. And uh, yeah, he's doing it. And I'm very happy about it. I want to see how he compares to Nathan Diasha and other British competitors, because those are the top guys. And I believe Nathan and James will be fighting for the first spot. Uh, Nathan will probably take it, most likely. I think James will be second. Um, as far as Zach King Khan, how will he do? That's really something I can just guess, because I have no idea. I don't even follow him on Instagram. I think his Instagram account was deleted by Instagram. The thing is, I used to follow him a long time ago, and all he was talking about was some kind of emotional bullshit. Um, he was talking about some pussy boy, quote-unquote, whatever that meant. And I think I commented on one of his photos, I was like, why are you only talking about girls and emotional stuff? You know, he was like a, teen a teenager, yeah, I said something like that. He was like a teenager, literally. That's what his posts were about, and I was expecting him to be a this big bad bodybuilder. I was expecting him to show us some crazy, hardcore bodybuilding lifestyle or something like that. He was talking about girls and his feelings or whatever. So he blocked me. <laughs> yeah, he blocked me. But later Instagram blocked him, so I guess it wasn't my fault, really. Maybe it was. But anyways, I don't follow him on Instagram. Um, I don't really know what is he doing right now or how he's gonna look. But based on what we saw at his last competition... If he doesn't improve from that much, he will probably be out of top 5 or something like that. But we'll see. But hey, everybody loves a good comeback story, so I'm excited about that. I want to see how he does. I would like to see him come better and actually winning the show or something like that. Fulfilling his potential, finally. Living up to the expectations. That would be amazing. 
but it's not very likely to happen. I really don't want to sound negative, I'm always trying to be optimistic and to create some kind of hype if there is none, but in this case, I think it would be just stupid saying something like he was going to win or place in top 3. I think that's just silly, I don't think he really has any chances to do that. Maybe, but it's, it would be a wonder and I would love to see a wonder like that happen, but it's not very likely. Whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. I'm posting new stuff every single day. All the best guys, bye bye.